Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Mecken. And today we're going to talk about how interceptors have changed in their behaviors since Update 15, and also inclusive of Update 16. The first of such changes, and maybe the most obvious, is how the Lightning Special Attack works. Prior to Update 15, the interceptor had to face you directly to be able to hit you with a Lightning Special Attack. Since Update 15, the Lightning Special Attack has effectively a 360-degree range, so the interceptor can fire the lightning through its own hull and catch you or grab you from absolutely any angle around it, making it quite harder to dodge, especially if you're trying to do a high-speed flyby. It's unclear why that happened. My personal hypothesis is that the lightning special attack was changed to accommodate the new Glaive Hunters and that the same logic for that special attack somehow got retroactively applied to interceptors as well. The second change has to do with how aggro works. Before update 15, it used to be the case that whoever did the most damage in the most recent 10 or 15 seconds ended up taking aggro from the interceptor. And that aggro was then locked onto them for a period of 30 seconds before it could switch again to a different commander, once again based on who did the most damage. That made it possible to take aggro from fellow commanders in a wing and manage aggro in a dynamic way where it was actually quite convenient for fights. Since update 15, that is no longer the case. Damage does not seem to be a factor in how aggro works from interceptor's perspective. It looks like in aggro is now a lot more based on proximity and distance, and whoever is the closest to the interceptor is the one that the goid is going to turn its attention to. Such change has made it a lot harder to manage aggro in a wing as it is no longer possible to go and take aggro voluntarily from others. It's necessary to actually get closer to the interceptor than they are in order for the interceptor to switch its target. The third major change, which also relates to aggro, has to do with the fact that interceptors before update 15 essentially never lost track of you no matter how far away they were in an instance. They could be over 20 kilometers away and still be following you. Since update 15, that has changed. They now will lose interest if you are cold, as in they cannot detect your heat signature, if they are even just above four kilometers in range. That has made it particularly annoying in one-on-one solo fights to keep attention of the interceptor, as you constantly need to poke them, especially if you're flying a relatively cold ship, like a DBX, a crate, or a dolphin. An interesting corollary of that change is that it is now possible to re-roll a swarm formation by exploiting this change in aggro mechanics. If you sit at four to six kilometers from the interceptor and do not tap the interceptor, the goid will very quickly lose interest and fly back to the interceptor. At that point, if you tap the interceptor, you can essentially force the swarm to re-roll its formation, and in this way, it's relatively easy to avoid having to deal with ring formations against medusas and hydras, which are very difficult to shoot down. Once you do get the swarm formation that you want, you can start flacking it and tapping the goid at the same time so that the goid does not lose interest and the swarm does not fly back and reroll a different formation. The fourth substantial change that came with update 15 and interceptor behavior has to do with gimbal lock and firing of their main cannons. Before update 15, interceptors just kept firing at you so long as you were within three kilometers, even if you were cold and fast enough so that your vector exceeded the cannon's gimbal range. Since update 15, that no longer happens. If you are in a situation where your velocity vector is exceeding the cannon's gimbal range of an interceptor, the interceptor will stop firing entirely. It's a very odd behavior to see in practice, although not very much changes in practice, as in those situations you would not be hit regardless. So what's going on with interceptors overall? The reality is nobody knows for sure, and we can only conjecture and speculate. My personal hypothesis is that in the purpose and with the intent of introducing the new Fargoid Hunters, the developers of FTF have reused a series of assets pertaining to Fargoid logic and particularly with regards to AI controlling the aggro behavior of uh, goids in general. That might work well for hunters, however, that has turned out with these very weird and unintended behaviors for interceptors more broadly. I personally don't like these changes, but I also don't see the developers reverting them anytime soon, and as a consequence, 
I feel we need to learn to live with them. That concludes our review of how Fargoid interceptor behavior has changed since update 15 and 16. What has been your experience with interceptors since update 15 and 16? Tell us in the comments below. And glory to mankind. Commander Mechan, over and out.